The Inquisitor was only the beginning. But who will replace him? So in the last season of Star Wars Rebels, we were introduced to a new kind of villain, called by no actual name, but simply referred to as the Inquisitor. This one fact changed Star Wars canon forever. Not only was the Force and lightsabers the tool of Jedi and Sith, but now also a third party of special Sith warriors. This fragmented fans between whether this was even true to the Star Wars mythos, or if it was an easy way to avoid the Rule of Two. The whole master and princess thing that the Sith have. Whatever the truth is, the Inquisitors are here to stay, and so far they have not proven themselves to be effective warriors for the Empire. Since the only one we have seen so far has done nothing but kill two Imperial officers and get himself killed. <coughs> yeah, he wasn't so tough after all. <coughs> but soon, all of that will change with Rebel Season 2 and the introduction of two new Imperial Inquisitors. We know very little, but from what we are given, we can assume a lot. So we see a male and female Inquisitor. The male looks like a shark species. Very large, very physical. I do not think he is a Karkarodon, but he looks very shark-like. When we see the other female Inquisitor, we see a probe droid beside her. This leads me to believe that these Inquisitors will have special skills. Hers being droid attacks, and his being sheer strength and physicality. This of course makes sense, because those are the two strengths of our rebels Sabine and Zeb. And, when writing a screenplay, or any story in general, you want to match your protagonist's strengths with an antagonist's strength. In other words, they have to feel evenly matched to create suspense. As far as who this new female Inquisitor is, we must dive into some deep analysis and theory crafting. Recently, Eric Patrick Cameron and I got into a conversation with the Wolfpack podcast and Freddie Prince Jr., the guy who plays Kanan on Rebels. We talked about several different things, but one of the things we discussed was the identity of the new female Inquisitor. The general consensus among the non-Lucasfilm employees is that it's Barris Offrey or Saj Ventress. As you can expect, Freddie Prince Jr. was very tight-lipped, but he did give us the possibility of maybe having a little hint of who it could possibly be. The Wolfpack podcast said that her helmet looked very Night Sister-ish, to which Freddie Prince responded, That's who she rolled with after Dooku tried to whack her, right? Hashtag Night Sisters. He said this in response to Saj Ventress being the new Inquisitor, but he seemed to already also know the storyline of Saj Ventress. So, is it possible that he said this to hint that the new Inquisitor is a Night Sister? Maybe even Ventress. Is it possible that this is all just wild speculation? Well, yes, but could it be that he's tipping us off to something? Well, maybe. Personally, here's what I think. I think the new Inquisitor is indeed Barriss Afi, and here's my evidence to support it. Number one, we know already that Barriss is known to hate the Jedi. This was even made apparent in the new Ahsoka storyline where Barriss blows up part of the Jedi Temple, but is eventually taken into custody by the Republic. At the time of Rebels, she would still be a prisoner to the Republic, which became the Empire. Number two, in the episode Rise of the Old Masters, we see that Luminara Unduli has been taken prisoner by the Empire, later seeing that she died while she had been taken prisoner. Why is this important? Well, because Luminara Unduli was a Jedi Master for Barriss Afi. Who would be a better candidate for finding and capturing Luminara than her old Padawan, who turned evil? Yeah, 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 yeah. Number three, if you look closely in the season two trailer, you can see a few frames where the female Inquisitor's face mask is off you can see a slight green and yellow coloring on the face. As you may know, that is the exact coloring of Barriss's face, whereas Ventress's face is white and blue. Number four, in some clip art recently discovered of the new female Inquisitor and Ezra, we can see a face that clearly looks closer to Barriss than Ventress. Number five, the return of Ahsoka. Simply by the fact that Ahsoka has returned makes me think that it is Barriss. In Ahsoka's last story arc on Clone Wars, she'd been set up and accused by Barriss of bombing the Jedi Temple. Thanks to Anakin's help, it's discovered of Barriss's treason to the Jedi. Thus Ahsoka and Barriss become mortal enemies. It would make sense that when Ahsoka returns, she now needs an enemy to counter her entry into this story. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Who do you think the new female Inquisitor is? And did I miss any details? 
A special thanks to Eric Patrick Cameron and Freddie Prince Jr. for letting me take part in your conversation. Shoutouts to these awesome commenters up here. And the moment you're all waiting for, the announcement of the winners of my Star Wars May the 4th giveaway. The winners are at James B. James, at Fangirl 1023, at Lisa Love 321, at Awesome Tripodi, at It's Luke 3, at Cyber Sniper 7, at Alec Loves Ya. Congratulations to y'all. I'll be messaging you through Twitter so you can get one of these prizes. If you'd like to be notified the next time I upload the video, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. And may the force be with you, always.